Praise Allah, brothers and sisters. This is Brother Santosh coming to you with yet another episode on the Blessed Life in Christ, a video and podcast series. And dear beloved, over the past several days, we have been continuously meditating on prosperity, healing, and faith on a continuous basis. Dear beloved, today we are going to meditate on healing. Today is the healing day, and today I believe is going to be the miracle day. where you are going to finally get rid of your diseases once and for ever dear beloved it is god's will for you and me to live a life without disease and so it is very very essential that we should know how to get healing from the word of god and how to get healed by jesus christ himself dear beloved we know that jesus christ has paid the price on the cross when he died for you and me all our diseases are taken care of in fact he received 39 lashes on his body and uh, the medical professionals i believe they say that all the diseases all the diseases that is in the world and which is yet to come even those diseases which have not yet come into this world you know they can be divided in only 39 parts so for each part of the disease jesus christ has received one lash on him why to deliver you and me dear beloved all the diseases are covered so you don't have to worry for our meditation let us uh, read psalms 103 and i will read from the first verse Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all His benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, and who redeemeth thy life from destruction, and who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfieth thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. Dear beloved, here we see the psalmist starting with a praise. Bless the Lord, O my soul, he says, and all that is within me, bless His name. Dear beloved, it is very very easy when we are going through all kinds of uh, you know pain and trouble and uh, you know disease and all the discomforts. it is very very easy to forget all the good things which god has done for us do you think this is the first time you are getting sick no you have been sick earlier also but you have been delivered dear beloved and now you are alive whereas there are many people who have died and gone away so at the outset we should be grateful that god has protected our lives and this kind of a, a grateful heart you know this kind of a grateful heart it is it helps us in fact it gives a lot of support and help in getting rid of the present disease you know the grateful heart helps us in so many ways even the medical professionals agree so god wants you and me to be grateful to him you may be saying oh i mean you are not sick you are not the one who is suffering the with pain 
and you can always say that you have to be grateful and all that. I mean, so what? Whereas I am suffering from pain. You may be saying, or you may be even thinking it loud. But the problem is, dearly beloved, of course it is easier for me to say that, but I'm not, I'm not condemning you that you don't have that kind of a grateful heart. I'm not, I'm not coming to that kind of conclusions. What I'm saying is, you try to be a little bit grateful. When you are grateful, it makes a lot of difference. And dearly beloved, here in the second verse we read, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has blessed us in so many different ways. And we should never forget that. When we when we don't forget and when we remember and give thanks to him over and over and over and over again, you know, the gratefulness in our heart increases like anything. And we grow, you know, in gratefulness, which does mighty things for our health. And by our gratefulness, by being thankful to God, God is also pleased. Dearly beloved, let us make a point, let us make a decision today that we will try to be grateful at all times. Okay, let us go further. And in the third word he says, Who forgiveth all thine iniquities and who healeth all thy diseases. Dearly beloved, where did this happen? Where did he forgive all your iniquities? Where did he uh, heal? Where did he heal all your diseases? It happened on the cross. Dearly beloved, cross is the place where I should have been there. You know, because of my sins, I should have been crucified. But Jesus Christ took that place. Jesus Christ took that place for you and me. And in our place, He died. He was, you know, all the, all our iniquities were dumped on Him. That is where He healed our iniquities. I mean, He delivered us from our iniquities and healed our, He forgave our iniquities and healed our diseases. Dearly beloved, Jesus Christ died on our place. And today, if you can just come to Jesus, if you can just come to Jesus and accept Him, Lord, you died in my place. Lord, please forgive me my sins. And please make me your child. Dearly beloved, not only your sins will be forgiven, but your diseases will also be healed completely. That is what you are supposed to do. And let us uh, go further a little bit. Who redeemeth thy life from destruction. Dearly beloved, today we see many people dying very young. And you know, one man of God said, Jesus Christ died at the prime of his youth so that none of us should die in. Dearly beloved, that is why he died on the cross. That is why he paid the price on the cross so that you should not die. What will happen to your wife, your young wife, what will happen to your kids? Dearly beloved, Jesus Christ died for you. 
dear brother you may be hearing this on the on your deathbed i don't know to whom i am prophesying this i sense that there is one brother who is hearing this on the verge of his you know he has been declared the medical field doctors have given up on him but you are hearing this podcast maybe you are seeing this video i, I really don't know jesus christ is giving life to you now dear sister you don't have to die young dear brother you don't have to die young because jesus christ died and he is able and he is more than able to deliver you from this dead bed all you have to do is just accept him in your heart just ask him to you know just welcome him into your heart jesus christ please come into my heart please make me your child please forgive my sins i'm just hearing that you died on my place thank you very much just say that if you are just saying that prayer with me i know that he will deliver you you don't have to die dear brother dear sister you don't have to die jesus christ died on your behalf he knows and he loves not only he loves not only you but also your wife and kids and your family all you have to do is just accept him just extend just just this is dearly beloved let me tell you one thing this is not conversion for god's sake i'm not trying to convert you i'm not a, i'm not that kind of a preacher in fact i'm not a preacher at all this is about a loving god who gave his only begotten son so that we you and me should not perish dear beloved that is exactly what god wants he loved you more than his son jesus christ all you have to do is just accept him just welcome him and we are not in the uh, you know religion changing business no this is a relationship business i'm trying to relate you to the loving god who gave his only begotten son for you and me this is no religion dearly beloved god loves you please accept him as your personal savior just cry out to him in your heart he can deliver you today i don't know when you are going to hear this and i don't know that doesn't really matter whenever you hear this you are going to be healed all you have to do is trust jesus just trust him dearly beloved god loves you and he wants good things for your life shall we just close our eyes and say a simple prayer with me dear jesus thank you for dying on my behalf thank you for <clears throat> accepting all my iniquities thank you for you know paying the price for my diseases lord please heal me i accept the healing you earned on the cross and take it by faith in your son jesus name thank you father for hearing my prayer thank you in the name of jesus i come to you amen lord dear lord i command healing to each and every one of the persons who prayed this prayer with me 
I send your word in the name of Jesus to heal them. I send your word so that it, it will completely heal them. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, Father. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Please continue to stay with us. If you find this episode a blessing, please share it with, the, with others. If you're seeing it in this uh, YouTube, please you know subscribe and press the bell icon and all that. May God bless you and I'll see you on the next episode. Thank you. Bye. Yeah.